My name is Michael Mann. I am a professor of atmospheric science here at Penn State University, where I also direct a center for climate research called the Earth System Science Center. And one of the things that I'm most interested in uh, right now is understanding the impact that climate change is having on extreme weather events like the weather extremes we saw during summer 2018. We looked at the conditions that are behind some of the most extreme summer weather events that we've seen in recent years, encapsulated by the 2018 summer where we saw this northern hemisphere-wide array of unprecedented heat waves, droughts, floods, and wildfires. Climate change is making those conditions more prevalent. The increase that we've seen in extreme weather events in recent years is consistent with what the climate models are telling us we should expect to happen as we continue to warm the planet by increasing the concentration of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. The California wildfires, the worst on record, the European heat wave this summer, uh, one of the worst on record. We had wildfires break out in the Arctic, um, something we haven't seen before, and we had an unprecedented flooding event in Japan. Now, these events might seem disconnected, but what they had in common was this very unusual jet stream pattern, a jet stream pattern that is undulating dramatically north and south as it crosses the northern hemisphere. And when you see those big peaks and troughs, you can be sure that you have extreme weather. One of the uh, biggest challenges uh, with these models today has to do with this competition as we move into the future between the warming effect of increasing greenhouse gas concentrations and the regional cooling effects of these uh, atmospheric pollutants uh, that we call aerosols. Uh, these unprecedented weather events are being made more frequent and more intense by human-caused warming of the planet, which is a result of the burning of fossil fuels. Human activity is also influencing pollution in the atmosphere that in some regions can actually offset the warming effect of greenhouse gases. The impacts of climate change are no longer subtle. We saw them play out in real time on our television screens and in our newspaper headlines. And what our findings tell us is things could get a whole lot worse if we don't act now, if we don't move away from our burning of fossil fuels toward renewable energy.